Go overseas now to Ukraine, where Secretary of State Antony Blinken made a visit to Kyiv today. Hours after the secretary's arrival, Ukraine's prime minister reports a Russian airstrike killed at least 16 civilians and left even more injured. The casualties are expected to rise. ABC's Justin Finch is following the details from Washington. Parts of Ukraine's capital city of Kyiv reeling after a deadly early morning Russian airstrike, hours before Secretary of State Antony Blinken's unannounced visit. I'm here first and foremost to demonstrate our ongoing and determined support for Ukraine. Then, hours later, Ukraine's prime minister announcing Russian shelling of a market in eastern Ukraine left many civilians killed and more wounded. Ukraine's President Zelensky responding, saying Russian evil must be defeated as soon as possible. Secretary Blinken later holding talks with Zelensky as Kyiv remains embroiled in a near four-month counteroffensive. Ukrainian officials say their forces are making some headway in the southeast in their brutal fight to retake Russian-occupied territory. This is a difficult challenge and difficult, uh, tough period for our society. Zelensky visiting troops near Bakhmut after announcing the firing of his defense minister, claiming it was time for a new approach to the war and weeks after firing all of Ukraine's military recruiters amid widespread allegations of corruption. In Moscow, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov saying Russia has heard the U.S.'s repeated statements that it intends to back Ukraine's fight and saying that won't affect what Russia is calling its special military operation. A senior State Department official tells ABC News Blinken is expected to announce more than a billion dollars in new U.S. funding for Ukraine, including air defense system components and more humanitarian aid. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.